Well, hello. The purpose of this video is to um, assist you as you attempt to put together a successful bound reference book for your VCE. Uh, regardless of whether you're doing a Year 11 General Maths into further or whether you've picked a Methods subject, the idea is that um, we understand how pivotal the bound reference is to your success, to your score, and we want to make sure that you do everything right and that you actually enjoy the experience. So what I have in front of me is uh, two books uh, from a student who was very successful in mathematics. Those books are from a Methods subject but the principles are identical, whether you're studying further or, uh, or methods. Now, I'm going to base this quick video on Vika and the rules that we get as teachers so that what you see from us is, uh, is very accurate. So I'm going to start with what I call the evolution of this uh, student's experience with her bound books. So on the left, you see there's the year 11 and you'll observe uh, according to the rules, that the bound reference must be in an A4 format book. So clearly this is an A4. Um, and they don't want you to go bigger, they don't want you to go smaller. So we keep it simple with that. Uh, the number of pages is not specified. It's unlimited. And the pages must be permanently bound and securely attached to the spine. And this is where it gets interesting because we need to make sure what the spine is. So in the middle of the book, there should be some sort of uh, spine, which is evident in this one. Uh, but this was the first attempt for this particular student. So even though everything is firmly attached, you see that there's been a few additions that have been made. Everything is stapled together or glued. Uh, I just want you to see the staples here. As things have been added, they've been securely fastened, so nothing is ever going to come off. So, the topics were added as the student was studying and the year progressed, and things were just continuously added to a point where nothing was coming off. And again, it's very evident here, but you'll be able to see that it isn't exactly the cleanest job. It did the job fine, and the content is amazing. The, the, the variety of content here is incredible. But we will see when we look at the second book how this student improved. So back to our rules, there must be a single horizontal or vertical spine. The band reference may be, it says here, uh, securely bound a lecture pad or a permanently bound student constructed set of notes without fold outs. So this is one of those, no fold outs. So nothing should be able to, to be opened up and folded. You should have just what you see there. Uh, or it could be an exercise book. And that is exactly that. Now, the form of binding is not specified, but it must be secure. And pages must not be readily detachable or designed to be removed. Binding can be include cloth, glue, staple, spiral, or cone binding. So there's a variety of ways you can secure your book. Now, you are allowed to bring uh, to annotate rather the material, to design your own written index, and there is an example of an index in this book, which I will show you very soon, so that you can find readily where the topics are. That's not the case so much here. Um, you are allowed to fold pages. You're allowed to cut page corners, color code the pages, insert dividers into their own sets of notes, firmly attach, for example, by glue or some sort of adhesive tape or even staples, any additional material to pages in the bound reference. So if you've gone through a topic and then you realized you would like to add something extra to it, nobody's stopping you from securing that. Now, the only way to do that is by staples because you've decided to do it later. And so that's okay, you can do that. Or as in any other way, again, as long as it doesn't go in there, it doesn't fall off. Now, things you must not include. Pages or parts of pages that can be detached from the bound reference during the exam. You must not include fold outs, maps or brochure style components. No removable tabs, posted notes or other pages or material designed to be detached. No forms of collation binding that are designed to be non-permanent 
and the content modified by insertion including ring binder folders, plastic A4 sleeves, none of that, from which pages can be removed, manila and similar folders with clips, clamps and stuff like that. You can't have those either. If any page or part of a page is detached from the rest of the band reference, the page will be removed by the supervisor for the duration of the exam and the incident will be reported as a potential breach of rules. You cannot share your notes between other students during the exam. Let's have a look now at the good example as this student became more proficient. So we have a solid book here and we see, first of all, we see the index with the topics, transformations, equations, measurement, etc. If you notice here, there's a lot of handwritten material which indicates that this student was studying and actually herself putting the notes into the book. And you'll see as I go through, there's none of these additions that we saw on the year before. Uh, you'll see that she became a lot more effective and, and sort of efficient as to what she did and how she did things. None of those uh, ready to fall off things. The whole book was just really together to the point where it's just perfect. It's one book. Now I want you to compare this with this here. It didn't fall off, but gee, um, it passed, it passed, but I think you can see what I'm saying, the difference between the two. So guys, this is just a quick uh, indication of where we're going with bound referencing this year and the year after. And uh, to make sure that you guys have a good experience and create your own notes, handwrite most of these notes and uh, make sure things are attached properly. Thank you.